Everybody wants to go. Everybody wants to go. I want to go to the place that no one knows. It's called... <laughs> yeah. All right, well, carry on then, carry on then. Um, human civilization is a splendor. It's wonderful. I'm weird, but not really. You're weird. Just kidding. We're all weird. Anyway, guys. If you haven't had enough, probably go get some more. And eventually you'll have enough. And once you do, you'll give up. And when you give up, everything's great. Everything's wonderful. Um, but until then, keep on fighting the good fight. Because guess what? Life is a battleground and you've got to pick your sides, good or evil. Because <laughs> that's all real. It's all real, guys. Spooky, monsters, ghosts, goblins, demons, etc. They're all real. But at the end of the day, it's basically just a bunch of make-believe baloney crap. And we all put on little costumes and wear flying saucers in our brains and all that stuff. I don't know. People, people do a lot of weird things. <laughs> It's all real though, that's the thing guys, it's all real. You know, there's no such thing as a crazy person. Um, people who wear tinfoil hats, they're not crazy because tinfoil actually is a material that's made out of something that does something. I don't know what it does, I don't care. I'm not wearing one of those. But probably, okay, I'm not gonna get into it, the physics or the chemistry, whatever, but we could imagine, you know, there are reasons. There are reasons for everything. Um, and everything interacts with everything. And people like to laugh and people like to make fun of things that they don't understand. Um, we like to joke around about it, but we don't actually know what's going on. Well, why are they doing that? Who got that idea? You know, you don't, nothing is random, mostly, mostly. Things can spontaneously arise. Um, lock yourself in a room with a bunch of canvas and paint. I don't know, see what happens. But nothing is random. Um, it's all completely 100% immediately interconnected, like what's going on with me and you and them and everyone. It's all very intimately connected. And if you're like me and you like your illusion of separation, then the intimacy part is gross, <laughs> disgusting, right? Um, but it's okay. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. So... People, some people like to imagine like, oh, heaven, glory, you know, light and you know, the internet, right? The mind, all these things that are so far away from the body, away from the earth, away from gross, disgusting goop and guts and poop and pee and cum and bodily fluids and spit and all of that. You know, at the end of the day, though, those are just things that we're socially, mostly socially conditioned. Some of it is biological conditioning, too, like... There's reasons why we feel disgust when we smell poop because it's rotting material that could, it's not edible, it could kill us, right? So there's reasons, but most of it is socially conditioned. And when you look a little closer, it's just like, mm, yep, 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 okay, little, it's literally, literally just cells. It's literally just cells. It's literally just energy and light. It doesn't really matter that much. It's all socially conditioned. And we believe in that, and we believe in the story. We believe what we're taught to believe. We feel shame, we feel guilt, we feel fear. I myself have spent my whole life like caged in this weird position of like, oh, I'm so afraid, I'm so ashamed, I can't do anything. You know, like, it's such baloney. It's such nonsense. Um, people, lots of people try to break out of that, try to break free, you know, through whatever art, through music, through self-expression, through their own private, whatever they do in their, whatever you do in your private time, I don't freaking know, I don't care. And yet, we create these institutions where, look, I worked in the industry where people spy on other people. I worked in the industry where people monitor everyone's behavior and activities. This was like 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 to 15. And I got out of that game because it's bloody disgusting. Because why would I need to know what you're doing? Why would I care what you're doing? I don't care. I don't need to exploit you and make money off of you. I don't need to watch your behaviors and study your behaviors and try to sell you things to survive. There's got, there's a better way. There's gotta be a better way than that, right? It's, it's a, it's a, it's not a fun game. It's a game that we play. Oh, <laughs> it's not like hide and seek like a kid though. It's like actually harmful and it actually makes life unpleasant for most people. Um, most of the time. So, 
just keep talking about it, I guess, and just keep putting it out there, I guess. And um, Web 3.0, right? Cryptocurrency, right? Um, decentralization, right? Um, new government, I don't know. Psychedelic renaissance, mindfulness, I don't fucking know, man. Just whatever. Um, but like this, this isn't it, you know? The, the, I mean, yeah, this is my life, this is my life, but um, but the, the whole mindset, the paradigm, like the whatever I'm in, which is like I'm, I've tried to stay off of the media and the social media because I know that's not it. I know that it is, it's like the conversation, but at the same time, there's so much of how that's portrayed that's so polarizing, that's just not it. It's not it, and, and it causes division, it causes fear. We don't, no one wants to feel that way, right? Nobody wants to feel shame. Nobody wants to feel afraid ever, you know, unless it's something exciting, a new adventure. Okay. You feel apprehension. You feel fear at the unknown. Sure. But that other kind of fear is just why, why do we even waste our time with that? Um, cause we're stuck in the past. We're traumatized. These, these words are becoming trauma. It's becoming a big word. Um, what's that other one that I've been hearing a lot though? The nervous system. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my particular feed, whatever they're feeding me. Um, but the, the, the phrase nervous system is like, ev it seems everywhere in the therapy space, the psychedelic space, the healing space, the somatic body space. Maybe those are pretty small spaces though. I don't know. Maybe I'm in a really little small subsection of the population of you guys. Oh, oh, but of course, YouTube, of course. The algorithm, it's feeding, it's feeding, right? We, who's going to watch this? People probably know about these things if they're watching me. Um, I, I, got, I want to confuse the algorithm, I think, because we need to get much more cross-pollination going on and a wider audience, you know? But niche things don't typically appeal to a wider audience for good reason. And, uh, and yet, I'm just saying random words. And um, if you're listening to them, good for you. And if you're not, then... You're doing something else anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Anyways. Well. <laughs> it's good. I think I'm going to go eat some lunch, so I'll see you guys later.